Hello, beautiful people. Good morning from Metro Manila, Philippines. Manila is a densely populated, huge metropolis city with lots of traffic chaos. A few way to travel in Manila or outside Manila, uh, probably most easy way to do it would be private car, taxi, buses, light rail, or jeepney and tricycle. Now I am here in front of my apartment. It is probably a one-way street. I'm just waiting here to get one of the transportation, either jeepney or either tricycle. Now if I take a jeepney, it probably gonna cost me point A to point B nine pesos, which is approximately 20 cents. And if I take a tricycle, it probably gonna cost me about 200 pesos. Well, it could be start from 20 pesos to 200 pesos. Uh, depends how far I am going. Manila has 50,000 jeepney, more than taxis. Now, it is um, has some sort of way they pick up passengers. Passenger can be picked up anywhere. Uh, there is certain area they can wait, but if you just wave your hand, they stop for you. They pick you up. Uh, regardless, there's a parking signs or no stop signs. They usually do that sometime, but they're not supposed to be. Since the Second World War, Jeepney uh, has been a vital transportation. Uh, by the way, Manila traffic is so bad that during traffic jam, you can take a short nap and you still have not moved you are still sitting in the same place. That is terrible. Uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this plastic divider is basically separation of the passenger and the driver. Philippine population is approximately little over 109 million people and 14,600,000 in Manila. Uh, it is falls right after Tokyo, Delhi, Shanghai, Sao Paulo, Mexico City, and Dhaka, Bangladesh. Manila is the 18th largest populated city in the world. The poverty, poverty is the biggest problem in the Philippines. But when you see this beautiful skyscraper buildings and the biggest mall in Asia, then it is quite impossible to believe that poverty is exist. Poverty and homeless, it is not only in the Philippines or in Africa or in the Middle East. It is actually exist even the state that I am from, California. Los Angeles, San Francisco, you will find thousands of homeless. Washington, New York, and probably some other states. Think about it, it's California number fifth in the economy and we have homeless problem then do your math many Filipinos are mixed race and that probably goes mostly to Chinese Filipino then it starts with Arabs Polynesian Spanish English American and African I used to live in the Philippines in especially in Metro Manila and I remember most of the old town of the Manila was pretty much dirty and garbage everywhere, stink. The river was so polluted and stinky that I even didn't want it to go. Never. However, this time, this is look like this. So clean and nice. And I'm really surprised that government done something great job. Water supply, probably another biggest problem. Sometimes there's no water for a few hours. So people fill up this uh, blue container, extra water, because they know there will be no water certain time. And this is still going on. Now, I'm not here today just talking about all the negative things about the Philippines. What I'm trying to say that every country has something, so don't judge them because they don't have this or they don't have this and you can compare with the country that you are living that way you know that what your country provide you and what other country doesn't have 
And that's what I'm saying today. So there's another problem in the Philippines, which is a power outage. It's known as a brownout. It's the biggest headache for the power company. There is not enough power to meet the demand of the people, the industry. So the power goes off for a few hours, randomly, different, different places, to prevent collapsing the system. Philippines should be in your bucket list. You must visit Philippines. People here so hospitality and friendly. Beside, north through the south, anywhere you go, you will find amazing view, especially the beach, the sand, and the mountain. Unbelievable. So, what you can do in Metro Manila? You can do tons of things. You can go to uh, the museum, Folk Arts Theater, uh, Rizal Park, and beside that, there's a lots of beautiful coffee shop, restaurants, and many different kind of food. Matter of fact, other day I have seen few American branded restaurant chain. And I said, wow, it's also available here. I'm not going to mention their name, but they're big time restaurants in America. And they're here also uh, available. Now, what else you can do? You know, during the daytime is different in Manila right after the sunset it is turned totally a different world now i would like to say manila can be a capital of the social hub and what does that mean by i try to say that this is the place that if you really want a good time then you are in the right place you would be showered with large quantities of bars, restaurants, live music, and many dubious strip clubs. Here in the Philippines, almost everybody speak English, so you will be never get lost like some other country that when you go and they don't speak English, the taxi driver doesn't speak English, you go to the club or nightclub and they don't speak English. It's very hard for communication, but not in the Philippines. Almost everybody speak English and that is a really great thing. Street food. Street food culture is a big time in the Philippines. It is a daily life of the Filipino to having some street food. Now, street food is in every country, right? You go any country, you can find a street food. But I do not eat street food from every country. I usually don't eat street food uh, uh, because it is my own personal choice. And here is why. Because I do believe a lack of hygiene, water supply, and uncovered food, which is layered with the street dust and carbon pollutions. And that is why I'm skeptical. I don't eat all the street food unless I am convinced. As an example, this street food stall, I will never gonna eat here. It's only one guy serving he touching the phone from the customer and he's touching the money he has only one hand gloves other hand he doesn't so i probably doubt it but this place if i come here and i see these three guys working here one guy touching the food other guy touching the money other guys are preparing the food yes and when i see this kind of situation I make my own judgment and yes, I would eat here, definitely. These vegetables are yummy and is great for your health. You know, hundreds of fresh vegetables every day you can find in the market all over in the Philippines. When I used to live here, I was eating all those vegetables. Only the bitter melon, I don't like that, it's too bitter. However, 
The recent survey say that Filipino now they are eating less vegetable and they moving towards to the fast food which bringing them a disease. Uh, we should take at least 400 grams of vegetables and fruits a day. I'm here in the old part of the town of Binondo where you can find all kind of counterfeit like a bootleg DVD, electronics, clothing, jewelry available here and this is the place you can buy any kind of counterfeit. <laughs> Adidas, Gucci, Pupu. Ayan na ni kayo. Maraming design ka ba yan ha? Maraming kulay. Maraming design na pa. Kabayan na? 130 na lang po. 130, 130 na lang po dito kabayan. Ayan, sige. Tuloy-tuloy lang tayo dito sa mura. Pasokin mo yung mura price siya. Meron tayo tribal. Adidas, Nike, Benz, Fubo. Ayan, sige. Tuloy-tuloy lang tayo dito sa mura kabayan ha? Mahalagang 130 na lang yan kabayan ha? Mahalagang 130 na lang yan kabayan. Mahalagang 130. Now, I'm not saying that it's only available in the Philippines. I have traveled a lot and I have seen, even we have in a back home, New York, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Rome, Paris, they all have a counterfeit item. But, of course, the government is trying to stop it, but it is very hard to do it. As a matter of fact, nowadays, this place that you're looking at, this is nothing compared with what you can buy in online. In the online is a more counterfeit product nowadays is sell than any time in the past. Another famous food in Manila. It is known as balut. Balut basically a duck egg embryo is totally developed inside which is means the duck chick right before a hatch it has boiled or steamed and eaten directly from the shell I put some hot sauce or what kind of sauce they have um, this is not only in the Philippines it also can be found in Vietnam and Cambodia I think in Thailand as well many years ago I tried once and um, next day I regret it. It's not about the taste. The smell uh, was terrible. Um, some people like it, but for me, it's not for me. Now I'm going to take you to the different part of Manila, different part of the town. You already have seen here the old town, how it is, people, uh, so many uh, counterfeit products, uh, shopping, all, all good things in here actually. It's a different kind of vibe. But let me take you to the other side of the town. We're going to go to Mall of Asia and it is totally uh, different than what you see here. Let's go. Here is the Mall of Asia. It is owned by SM, which is the leading shopping mall chain in the Philippines. 
is located near the Manila Bay. Uh, it is largest mall in the Philippines, but it is number 15th biggest mall in Asia. If I remember clearly, many years ago when I used to live here, I used to come here to watch the sunset. And now I am not able to identify where exactly I'm standing. This mall is about 170 acres of land and floor area is about 489,890 square meters, which is uh, approximately about 5,274,000 square foot. It has shopping center, food court, residential condominiums, and the sports arena, which is about 15 between 20,000 sitting capacity and 5,000 parking spot. One great thing is about it is powered by solar. Here in the Philippines, random video recording or taking a picture in a public area is not a problem. People are actually friendly and they understand uh, in the public area, basically, you lost your privacy. However, this store, this watch store, I think they're selling also jewelry here too. The employee is looking at me, if you notice, a very questionable way. It seems probably they are concerned about the safety issues. I do not have any idea why. This man in a white shirt, he probably a salesperson or maybe a security, I have no idea. He came outside the store and approached to me and asked me why I am doing the video recording. I told him I am recording randomly and I told him I'm doing it for YouTube content. And then I think he realized I'm not a Filipino and then he smiled and went back to the store. I'm here in an uh, Indian restaurant to order a chicken biryani and a mango lassi. Let's try here to see if it is still the same biryani as we always try anywhere in the world, right? I have not eaten Indian food <laughs> a long time. I'm glad I found this uh, Indian restaurant here. 20 minutes already. My food is not here. It has been almost 30 minutes now. Well, you know, sometimes they cook fresh. There's a last thing. I could have that earlier. You know, people can open a restaurant anytime they want if they have money. I think the final ingredient is here. Salamat. Welcome, sir. It's here. Smells good. It's a huge. There's a writer, but I'm not sure what kind of writer is it. Let's try. Let's try the biryani. Yeah, it's good. This mall is very crowded. Let's try the right up. Mm. Right up this different. You never try before right up like this. The biryani, excellent. Delicious. Sounded very hot and warm. Good. Out of 10, I'll give them 9. Why? The writer? Out of 10, I give them a 1. Because it's not even a writer. I don't know what is it. I don't know what they try to make. I would say, instead of this writer, you know, if they put some uh, mango chutney or mango achar on the side, probably much better because this right there is you can only fool around the Filipinos because they don't know what is the right up but I have an Indian heritage I know what is right the means 
so this is not uh, right uh, at all. My day is over now and I'm going back to the hotel. My hotel is very next to the airport. I couldn't find any transportation beside this motorbike. Uh, there was a couple of taxi but the driver was very nasty. He wanted to raise his price because he knew I was a foreigner. Uh, long story short, there's a lot of uh, bad Filipino uh, taxi driver you will find in Manila. Uh, but not so many but there is some. However. Um, there's an app called Grab. I just booked it and the motorbike is just right there within five minutes. You know, this is the best way to actually travel in Manila with a motorbike because you can always avoid the traffic. This video is about to be end. I'll see you in my next video and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so when I have a new video post, you will get a notification. Meanwhile, I would like to say in a Filipino word, Salamat